Sadly, the number killed in that catastrophic earthquake hitting Turkey and Syria has more than doubled since we were with you last night, now topping a staggering 7,500 people. These are desperate hours where time is quickly running out for those still trapped in the rubble. Silence, in some cases, the most effective rescue tool as searchers pause at moments to listen for sounds of life. Still finding survivors, but too often recovering the dead. In Turkey alone, almost 6,000 buildings have collapsed. The rescue effort hampered by brutal cold and hundreds of aftershocks. But still officials say 8,000 people have been rescued. Turkey's president declaring a state of emergency for the next three months. But it's these crucial hours that will make a difference for so many families hoping against hope. Matt Bradley is in Turkey with the latest. Tonight, a state of emergency in Turkey. Rescuers still digging for signs of life. And amazingly, they're still finding it. Rescuers using a jackhammer to reach this man, covered in dust, pulling him out of the rubble. And this survivor loaded into an ambulance to applause. This boy, a Syrian refugee, found alive in Turkey. First responders giving him water. And this toddler in the Syrian town of Jandiris, covered in debris, no signs of life. But then, incredibly, brought back from near death. Here in Adana, Turkey, we found emergency workers overwhelmed. You can see scenes like this all over southern Turkey and northern Syria. Hundreds of mostly volunteers working side by side with professionals, trying to find anyone who could still be alive under these nightmare scenes. Fatah and his family live across the street from this building. The earthquake startled them awake. His building didn't collapse, but so many of his friends and neighbors weren't so lucky. Always we will see them. People was drinking coffee from their balcony. We will saw them. We know them. Just next door. And now, all no. gone. No one. Many of the volunteers worked by hand. Some were injured. What made you decide to, to volunteer to do this? It's for humanity. We're all humans, he told me. I'm doing my best to save a life, even one if I can. Elsewhere, the familiar call for silence. Rescuers listening for anyone who's trapped. Sometimes prayers are answered. Back in Syria, rescuers say this baby girl was born in the rubble, pulled out three hours later. Her mother died. Tonight, she's in a hospital, the only member of her family to survive. Matt Bradley now joining me from Turkey. Matt, can you describe what's unfolding behind you? Well, Lester, this was a 14-story apartment building, and there's been a flurry of activity over the last several hours. They've discovered more bodies, but unfortunately, no survivors. And a U.S. search and rescue team will be arriving to the area tomorrow. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.